Some of the common misconceptions with um, females and strength training is, is this concept that um, I'll get too bulky if I lift weights. Um, I'm Lara, I'm one of the performance coaches here at Absolute. The percentage of uh, people or females specifically participating in resistance and aerobic exercise is quite low. Um, the World Health Organization recommendations or Australia recommendations for exercise is um, two times a week resistance training. Um, and at the moment, we're probably only about 10% of people participate in two times strength training sessions a week. Um, which can have really big repercussions throughout the lifespan. So for example, uh, from a female perspective, we're more at risk of things like low back pain um, and developing osteoporosis later in life. Uh, so things like strength training can help prevent um, the severity or the incidence of low back pain, or it can help prevent um, or delay osteoporosis by increasing bone mineral density, um, by engaging in strength training and increasing um, the amount of resistance that can go through the bones. Some of the common misconceptions with um, females and strength training is, is this concept that um, I'll get too bulky if I lift weights. Um, and, and that's sort of the, the number one reason um, you hear people saying, no, I don't, I don't want to do any weights. I'd rather just stick with my body weight exercises. Um, if, if we look at the hormonal, hormonal profile of males versus females, males have 30% more testosterone than females do. Um, so it, it makes it incredibly difficult for females to pack on a massive amount of weight if you start strength training. Um, so with strength training or resistance training, what you'll get is um, an increase in strength, an increase in um, what we define as tone, um, and increasing your lean muscle mass, decreasing your um, fat percentage as well. So that's what we get, the toning effect. Um, if you wanted to gain um, a lot of muscle mass as a female, it requires a really intensive strength training program with um, a really specific nutritional program on the side as well. So it makes it really difficult to gain weight, as a, uh, gain muscle mass as a female. Um, so strength training is actually really great to achieve the goals um, of toning and leaning up. So some of the other misconceptions with um, females in strength training is I should stick to low weight heavy rep as opposed to um, going as heavy as my body is um, able to do. Um, so you'll typically see um, a lot of females in the gym engaging in resistance training, which is fantastic, but not really reaping the benefits of it because we're doing really low weight that's not really stimulating the right muscle fibers um, for an increase in tone or a decrease in lean, um, or a decrease in body fat, an increase in lean muscle tissue. So um, basically there's, there's this really interesting difference between males and females is that females have this muscle type fiber type yeah. one, um, that's kind of geared towards postural control and really aerobic type um, activities. Whereas males tend to have more type 2A, which is really fast, powerful movements. So that difference means that for females, it's harder to um, increase lean muscle tissue without having heavy resistance. So um, for example, if you wanted to have that toned sort of um, aesthetic look, then you're actually wanting to go with heavier weights that are going to stimulate your type 2 fibres um, because that's going to increase the lean muscle mass um, more so than your lighter weights will. So the importance of females participating in resistance training throughout the lifespan. Um, if we look at our younger female population, so um, going from age perhaps 20 to 60, um, one of the key reasons is to just increase your functional capacity so there's absolutely nothing wrong with getting strong if you're stronger it just makes things so much easier things like um, picking up a child carrying your groceries back in um, getting up out of a really low chair out of a really low car so that base level of strength is really important um, and that's going to see you through throughout the lifespan as well. So if you start at a younger age, you'll have an increase in what we call functional reserve capacity or functional capacity of muscle. Um, so when you are 60, 70, 80, and there's this increased risk of losing balance and falls and fractures, you actually have this really good baseline of strength to be able to adapt and deal with really difficult situations like that in your older age. Um, 
a lot of females as well will go through pregnancy throughout the lifespan, 20, 30, 35, 40. Um, and so exercise during pregnancy is also incredibly important as is resistance training. Um, so there are lots of studies that show that resistance training during exercise can decrease um, the incidence of gestational diabetes. And we know that um, the incidence of gestational diabetes during pregnancy actually puts you at greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes after as well. Um, decreasing the risk of preeclampsia, increasing the health of um, fetus as well. Um, and there are also some studies that suggest that a stronger body um, prepares you better for labour. So there's shorter hospital hospitalisation stays and shorter labours as well. Um, and also just the ability to pick up the child and hold them on your hip for an extended period of time. Um, kids can grow really fast and holding 10 kilos on the side of your hip, if you're stronger, you're better able to adapt to that as well. So some recommendations I give to any female wanting to start uh, resistance training is start somewhere where you're comfortable. Um, engaging into a gym environment can be quite intimidating at the start. So um, I suggest going into a group environment at the start, small exercise class, Get yourself a trainer who can show you around the gym, make you feel really comfortable in the environment and teach you how to perform the exercises so that you can then go off by yourself and perform them to a really good standard. Um, things like Pilates classes are really great to get started with. Um, small strength classes, HIIT, circuit, um, or even two on one, three on one strength training classes. So grab a mate, come in. Um, do the exercises together and then progress to doing them by yourself as well to that two times a week. Um, in terms of specific recommendations for strength training, um, we'd start off with uh, kind of like rep ranges of 8 to 12, so going heavier than what you probably would at home, he heavier than body weight um, and having an upper body and lower body focus as well, so we're getting the overall um, picture with your strength.